Sorry to interrupt your orange juice dance. What's up, Director Man? This is not the kind of fruit we're talking about today. Say, what, what other kind of fruit is there? Oh, I know, candy fruit. It's rainy candy fruit, hallelujah. Woo -woo. <laughs> nope, no, no, uh, not, not candy fruit either. Well, what other kind of fruit is there? We're talking about the fruit of the spirit today. Say, what? Spirit fruit? Can you make juice out of that? No, no. Uh, the fruit of the spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Wow, that's a lot of spirit fruit. I think I can only name like six real fruits. Oranges, of course. Bananas, kiwis, not the bird, the fruit. 
apples, mangoes, and like grapes, I guess. What was the first fruit you mentioned, Mr. Director Man? Love. Yeah, love. That's an awesome one. I love love. It's raining love, hallelujah. You know who else loves go love? God does. Not only does he love love, but he's the epitome of love. The epitome. And God is the ultimate motivator, which I obviously love. Anyways, God motivates us to love him and love others, or how I like to say, L-G-L-O, or Legolo, which stands for love God, love others. I even have that on a bracelet to help motivate me to live in love. Jesus once said, love the Lord God with all your heart, all your soul, and all your mind. This is the first and greatest commandment. A second is equally important. Love your neighbor as yourself. Now that's a lot of love. I want to motivate you this week to commit to living in love. Come on, Mr. Director Man, chant it with me. L-G-L-O, 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 L-G-L-O. Remember guys, love God and love others. I'll see you next time for more motivation and more fruit. L-G-L-O, 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 L-G-L-O. Woo woo! <laughs> I like how there's still like three fruits in there. Hey kids, I'm Kyle. Today we're talking about love. And no, I'm not talking about like lovey-dovey, holding hands kind of stuff. We're talking about how we love God first and love our neighbors or friends. What do you think of if I tell you to love others? Do you think of sharing your treat with someone at lunch? Or maybe giving someone a hug? What does loving others look like for you? Loving others isn't always easy, but we can love others in so many different ways. And we can love others by loving God first in our lives. When we put God first and love Him, we become more and more like Him. That means we show love through our actions to others. So today we're learning, I am motivated to live in love. Hey, let's all say that together. I am motivated to live in love. That word motivated is so important. Why? because it means that we're excited to do something and we're encouraged to do it too. So when we say we're motivated to live in love, that means we're excited to love God and love others. And do you know where we get that motivation? From God, from the Holy Spirit. Do you know how much God loves us? Well, God loves us so much that he was willing to let his son Jesus die on the cross to forgive us of all the bad things we do. When we do bad things, it's called sin. And we all sin. But when we believe in God and make him the leader of our lives, he forgives us when we say sorry. That's love. So because God loves us so much, he wants us to love him and to love everyone around us. We can read in our Bible about Jesus telling us to love God and to love others. Let's read together. We can find it in the New Testament in Matthew 22, verses 37 through 39. It goes like this. Jesus replied, You must love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your soul, and all your mind. This is the first and greatest commandment. God tells us that we should love him. How do we do that? We start a good friendship with him and ask him to be the leader of our lives. That's the first step in the journey. Then we have to continue to have a good friendship with him. So we talk to him or we pray. 
and we read our Bibles and get to know God better through his word. Loving God first means we're going to be more like him. We'll be motivated to live in love. The Holy Spirit lives in us when we make Jesus the leader of our lives, and the Holy Spirit helps us to love. The Holy Spirit is the one who motivates us or gets us excited to love. He tells us right from wrong. But there's more to this verse in the Bible. God wants us to love him, and he wants us to love everyone. So let's go ahead and read that part. It goes like this. A second is equally important. Love your neighbor as yourself. We should love everyone. We can love our parents, grandparents, brothers, sisters, friends, our teachers, policemen. I could keep on going, but we can love everyone. How do we do that? Just going up to people and telling them that we love them? Probably not. That might be a little uncomfortable. But we can show others that we love them through our actions. Think about a time you felt loved by someone. You felt really cared for. Maybe someone saw you that you were sad and, and they give you a hug. Maybe your parents saw you were struggling with your homework and they helped you out. Those people were showing you love. So when you're thinking, how can I show love to everyone? It's simple. It's through how we treat others. So be kind like God is kind, in love through your actions and your words. I am motivated to live in love. Let's all say that together and do the hand motions this time. I am motivated to live in love. Should we show love to people who are mean to us too? What do you think? We should. God tells us that we should love everyone because God loves everyone. It's not easy to love people who are mean or upset at us, but God wants us to. Well, how do we do that? Well, maybe you can tell them that you forgive them even if they didn't say sorry. Maybe you can just be kind to them even if they're mean. Don't be mean right back to them. That's not showing love. I'm not saying to just let them be mean to you either. If you're having an issue with someone, talk to an adult. Sometimes that is the kind thing to do. I am motivated to live in love. Let's all say that together. I am motivated to live in love. And maybe you wanna start being motivated to live in love and you wanna take the first step in your relationship with God. You wanna start your friendship with him for the very first time today. You can do that with me right now. So just pray with me and ask him into your heart. Dear Jesus, thank you so much. We love you and we want to be motivated to live in your love. So please come into my heart and change me. Be the leader of my life so that I can live in love. Amen. If you made the decision to make Jesus the leader of your life, tell a leader or tell somebody around you. And don't forget to be motivated to love others. And when you have those moments where it's hard to love someone, stop and pray. Ask the Holy Spirit to help you love. Hey, I'm Christy. How do we show love to others? Well, first, we should ask the Holy Spirit to help us be motivated to love others. Then loving others will be easier. My favorite way to love others is by helping. When someone comes to me and says, I really need help, I'm ready to help them. But how do we love God? We can strengthen our friendship with him and show him that we love him by praying or talking to him. We can even read our Bible. Uh, let's practice our memory verse right now. Galatians 5, 22 through 23. But the Holy Spirit produces this kind of fruit in our lives. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Let's all say, I am motivated to live in love. Ready? I am motivated to live in love.